Hi there. So in my curved, <coughs> organically curved roof design, the load from the roof is carried down to the ground through pipes that support hubs around the perimeter of the roof. So all the load is carried by these pipes. This, um, <coughs> this framing, which I and here um, is not doesn't provide any support function. Uh, it doesn't carry any of the load. This would be just to support <coughs> whatever uh, is used to fill in these gaps, windows, some places, um, perhaps dense packs cellulose and others, or um, the latest thought is to use. Uh, hempcrete. Um, at any rate, back to the pipes. Also, all the load is carried down to the ground with the pipes. Um, <clears throat> the pipes could be steel, perhaps aluminum, maybe PVC filled with concrete if necessary, uh, perhaps some rebar also if necessary. At any rate, I'm still exploring that possibility. So I want to look at this, uh, my latest thoughts on, on how to do this, um, which is this model. So what I have here is, <clears throat> this would be the concrete foundation, which I'll cover in another video how I propose to do a concrete foundation that has curves. Um, I think I've got that solved. And can be done quite easily. So here's the, the framing. Let's remove a couple of these pieces. These would be simply um, <clears throat> forms that would be used in um, in holding the, hem the hemcrete in place just long enough for it to set. Uh, if I went with a hemcrete solution, so uh, this is. I've done some testing, and, and this could be done easily with <clears throat> brown fiberboard, which can do that kind of bend without a problem, even that kind of bend. Um, the, the forms would be held in place by these pieces of wood, which would be placed about every two feet along the length of the tube. Those would be placed ahead of time. Uh, <clears throat> the only thermal bridging is this small piece of about two by two, and you could even lessen that by having these ends temporarily um, placed only to during the um, like screwed into the larger piece uh, <clears throat> so that they are to hold the formwork. And then once the formwork sets, those could be removed, and that space could be filled with. Um, hemcrete or foam or something else. And that would e even further reduce any thermal bridging between the two sides. So let's remove those forms so we can dig in a bit here. And <clears throat> just take a look at this. So these two pieces of two by two would be, uh, they would be set at the correct angle using a jig, each of the angles of these curves would likely be different. Uh, very easy to set up a jig that would allow you to, um, to handle that situation. Since basically, I mean, one way to approach this is to have this section of straight wall be exactly the same um, in all cases. Although that's not necessary, I originally thought that of to do that when I was considering using structural insulated panels or SIPs. But if you move to a hempcrete solution or a um, dense back cellulose solution, it really doesn't matter if the length of these straight sections varies a bit. But in any case, it's easy to figure out what this angle needs to be. Um, and you could, you could build a jig to quickly produce these. This would be um, probably a sheet of plywood on top of maybe pressure treated two by twos. A lot depends on, I have to check with the hemcrete people to find out if there are any issues with having plywood sitting inside of the hemcrete 
um, whether it will delaminate from the moisture or not. But if plywood wouldn't work, you could use something else, um, cedar or, or some other wood. Um, I explained these. You could, you, you could either run the full length with your two by twos, or you could have a section on each end which was attached through, just through a screw into the bigger section. And then these pieces could later be removed and filled to prevent thermal fidgeting. So I went over that. Um, <clears throat> these would be placed every two feet, approximately, going up your support tube. Uh, again, I would use a jig to place these and probably use spray foam to sort of lock them in place on the jig so that you know that the distance is consistent between these points, which would be very helpful when you're setting your... Um, setting up your forms. Um, so let's put the inner form back. So as you can see by attaching here and here, <clears throat> you can force the curve to occur right where you want it to occur and then have a long straight section over to your next pipe or support column. Um, put the outer form in. Same thing out here. And this area would be easy to fill with hempcrete um, up to you know, a level that uh, is convenient. After an hour or so, you could remove the form, move it up two feet. Right? So the base now is, is here and continue filling your form. And very quickly, with minimal waste of the of the of the a form board, the uh, brown fiber board, uh, get your walls in place. Um, so this seems this seems to me to make sense. Uh, I if if you did have windows that you could place a you know some form work some wood framework uh, using these pieces as a guide ahead of uh, placing your, your hempcrete um, and then put the hempcrete around it. And so <clears throat> and I, think, I think this would, this would be a system which would be very flexible and, and really quite easy to work with. Um, be something that you wouldn't you could probably do just one person could do um, because it it's so um, so modular I guess is what I want to say so that's where I am with <clears throat> my framing ideas um, certainly there are details here which haven't been worked out there would need to be some sort of flashing between the concrete and the hemp and uh, as I mentioned in the previous post on the outside, you would want to place um, uh, insulation foam board. Uh, what you'd probably want to do is have your foundation be about two inches shy of where it is on the outside. And that two inches would be replaced by foam on the outside. And I think, I'm pretty confident that your support is certainly right on the concrete. Your, your, um, everything that's carrying the load, so that's not an issue. And I think that the hempcrete would have no problem um, cantilevering two inches over the foam. In fact, the foam can bear a fair amount of weight, so um, I don't think that would be an issue. And then you'd have um, <clears throat> no thermal break, no, no thermal bridging, minimal thermal bridging from the concrete. Uh, still have to work out issues related to how the floor is done inside. Some sort of, um, since I'm thinking of a slab on grade, some sort of foundation, a concrete pour uh, with foam either above or below it. What I'd really like to do is foam above the concrete floor, so that which then you could attach um, wood flooring to, so that you don't have that hard concrete floor. So that's where I am with this. If you have any thoughts, please share them. Thanks.